the first time we came to England, we were just playing London, and now the second time we came, we have the opportunity to play in another place in England, like Birmingham and other places. And it's real nice country, crazy, crazy people. It's cool. To play a second time in, in Europe with the same album, we are here because we, most of the places we never played before, like Portugal, Greece, Italy, and Belfast, some place in England, Russia, we're gonna end up this tour. So it's great. And that's why we did the video, because a lot of, of places didn't have the chance to see Sepultura live. And we like to show in the video more different things about Brazil, not only soccer or football or beach or nice girls, you know, but show the other part of the country. It's real too, you know, and it's real strong. We live in Sao Paulo, which is a big city, a lot of crime and problems, you know. So we, we like to show more a realistic idea what Brazil are right now, you know. We did a rise like two years ago, maybe, and we are really proud of that because we are still touring with the same album, you know, after two years. And we did a lot of work with, was the first album we'd record outside Brazil. We did more sound with Scott Burns again. So everybody was more relaxed to work. Scott was doing his work on his own studio, you know, so every, everything was running real good. And the day after we, we finished the recording, we, we start touring in America with Obituary. It happened in December, the last December, like four months ago. I was doing jet ski on, on the beach in, near of where I live, Sao Paulo. And it was the first time I was doing and I, I didn't know too much and I got up. <laughs> so I used the, the pins outside so I can, I can play, you know, if I have to use a cast. I will stay until now with cast in my arm stop. So it works good. I did more than a month with a, a tour with that and I took it off yesterday. So I have some they have holes here and yet, you know, so <laughs> I have some bandage here. But it's, it's it's nice now. It's good. The music business like, right now in Brazil is pretty big. Uh, this kind of music trash metal, you know, because more bands are playing there and they see us like a, a door, you know, a lot of bands who are starting right now, they see us like a door to, to get out of the country. A lot of bands who broke up before, you know, uh, they are back now. And a lot of bands who sang in Portuguese before, they are singing English now because they see it's not impossible to get, to play outside and everything. The first time we came to Europe was in 89 and we were really surprised about what people think about Brazil, you know. Some people thought Brazil was in Africa and some people couldn't believe we are white, you know. <laughs> and it's really weird, you know, and little by little we like to change this stupid idea, you know. People asking if we have cars and if we have dry to, <laughs> to dry our hands in the bathroom, you know, really stupid questions. And we not get angry about that stuff, you know, because it's a government of Brazil fault, you know, because they like to show Brazil like a, a tourist place in a paradise place, you know. But for Brazilians who live there is a, another stuff, you know, another different kind of stuff. We like uh, to play in a rehearsal, a lot of covert tunes, you know, not only Motorhead, but Black Sabbath, Deep Purple and Dead Kennedys, Discharge, you know, all different kinds of stuff, Brazilian bands. And we were playing Motorhead on the rehearsal and we started playing in Brazil in some shows and the reaction of the crowd was great, you know, it's a really heavy song, really catchy and the lyrics are great. And when Roadrunner came up with the idea to release a single, it was Under Siege, you know, and we recorded Orgasmator and it came out good. Football in Brazil used to be better, you know, when Pelé used to play. <laughs> After that, uh, I think too much politics are involved in football and they lose, they lost all the, the magic or something, you know, and just money talks and all the Brazilian players are playing in Europe, you know, in Italy especially, and we we just have the chance to see in Brazil the, the players who are start to get in better, you know, not the real good ones who are playing outside. But my team is still very good, it's one of the best, of course. <laughs> but uh, it's good, you know, football, football, it's a... Uh, it's a, very, it's a passion in Brazil. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.